Hello, Mike Simmons here, and welcome to the Cigar Area. Tonight, I'm going to be smoking JFR XT 654 Corojo. Uh, the cigar comes with either a Corojo or a Maduro San Andreas wrapper. This is the Aganorsa Corojo and it also has an Aganorsa binder and filler all from Nicaragua and it's made at the Casa Fernandez factory in Esteli, Nicaragua. It's quite an attractive box press Toro pigtail cap JFR, the Just for Retail series. Band on the foot. Pretty nice. Uh, I'm going to take this bottom band off now. Pops right off. I've had this guy in my humidor for a while. In fact, I've got like one, at least one of like every JFR cigar and one of at least one of every Casa Fernandez cigar in my humidor and I every day I open them up think what am I gonna smoke today what am I gonna do a review on and ah oh, one of those and then I pick something else well today I picked one of these um, and generally these a uh, pigtail cap like this you can just pull off. Not a big fan of doing that. Sometimes it works. Pops off nicely, but I'm going to cut it with a cutter just to be safe. Because I don't want to screw up such a beautiful cigar. Yeah, that works fine. a nice sweet tobacco taste on the cold draw. Now this has an unfinished foot as well. Uh, so should fire up pretty nicely here. This is a nice firm cigar, firmly packed with, with little give. Uh, there are hardly any visible veins in this wrapper. It is absolutely gorgeous. And the seams are very nice and tight. It's like very well rolled. Mm. Boys, there are richness right right off the start with that. Rich tobacco, core flavor, and a nice spice. Um, I don't know offhand what this is rated as far as strength and body go, but I will check into that. A very nice, easy draw. Produces a ton of smoke, obviously. Oh, that's a nice peppery spice on the finish. Right now I'm sticking with the tobacco core flavor. Earthy, earthy kind of tobacco flavor. Spice. So, we'll venture into the first third. See what develops. Hopefully... continues on tasting as good as it tastes now, this is going to be a good night. 
Hang in there. Be back. Alrighty, welcome back with the JFR XT 654 Corojo version. Uh, well into the first third here. A little curve in the burn there. I'm not, not worried about it. I think it's going to straighten itself out. There aren't really any soft spots in this. So I'm not going to worry about it right now. Uh, the initial earthiness in that first couple puffs turned into a leather. Sweet, sweet leather flavor. And there's, it's just a sweetness in there. I can't really uh, put a, a name on it. It's not chocolate. It's not honey. It's not it's just sweet. And a nice medium to strong pepper kind of wavers on the finish. Kind of like a black pepper. Uh, quite tasty. Um, this is uh, marketed as a medium to full body cigar. And it definitely is. Uh, it has some strength to it. But it's not too, too strong to put you off if you're a medium smoker. Uh, it's very flavorful. The leather, uh, very nice, very almost a, maybe two more puffs after I got started it just bam there was leather. And I think that went out on me. Sometimes I spend too much time talking. Uh, but at any rate, so far so good. I have to say, uh, well, I, I, I accidentally knocked off the first half inch of ash. And uh, then it came up to about another half inch there. It's a very light, it feels very light. It's, it's firmly packed, as I said, but it just has a very light weight to it overall for a Toro. It does seem to be burning a bit fast. I've been, been uh, I noticed that right when I started. I didn't want to burn through it at too much of an alarming rate, so kind of taking it easy. Definitely leather, sweetness, spice. That's the first third. Second third, coming up in a minute. Okay, welcome back with the JFR XT. That burn evened itself out quite nicely in the second portion. Uh, flavors changed a bit. That leather flavor has been replaced by a creamy cedar flavor. It's uh, a little bit lighter in strength and body. But that spice has remained. The spice is still uh, medium to full on the spice. Really hangs on my tongue. Sides and the back. Really comes through on the retro hail. Still has that underlying sweetness. Uh, it's definitely cedary now. Not not so much with the with the leather. Leather kind of faded out. Still producing a lot of smoke. I'm about about an hour and ten minutes into this. Uh, 
really been trying to uh, it, it burns really fast um, I don't know what the reason for that is like I said it's, it's light in weight but it's very fully packed uh, and it's been properly stored in the humidor it's not dry by any means it just burns fast can't really explain it but uh, still quite delicious so I'm going to uh, work into the final third here and see if we get any more changes be back okay <clears throat> back with the JFR XT 654 Corojo wrapper 6x54 Toro box press Casa Fernandez <laughs> what, what else can I think of to say um, in the final third here man this is a tasty cigar um, that cedar flavor completely flipped in the final third to a creamy coffee and the spice from a black pepper bold spice to a mild white pepper spice so we started the initial couple puffs was uh, earthy rich tobacco and a strong spice first third was leather with a sweetness and a strong pepper spice second third was uh, creamy cedar still with the sweetness and the spice kind of went up and down between white and black pepper now in this final third we switched over to creamy coffee with a milder spice uh, the sweetness tapered off but it is still quite tasty um, this is a good cigar very nice complex flavor profile lots of changes a uh, little wavy burn but for the most part it was pretty straight through most of the smoke very well made very light but still produced a lot of smoke lasted a long time I'm well, I don't even know how long I've been smoking this. Qu quite a while. But I have to say, this is definitely a 10 out of 10. It is a Nicaraguan Puro. It is all Aganorsa tobaccos with a Corojo wrapper. And the fillers are Aganorsa Nicaraguan grown, Nicaraguan made, and these are only like five and a half to six bucks a piece. That's a deal. That's a that, that's a ten out of ten right there. Well made, good construction, good flavors. Uh, nice balance between the flavors and the strength and an excellent price so do yourself a favor you want a nice tasty Nicaraguan smoke JFR XT um, now this is the Corojo it also has a, uh, comes in a San Andreas Maduro wrapper which I have not tried yet but I'm pretty sure I have one in my humidor um, if not, I'm definitely going to get one because it, the, the prices that these things go for, it's, it's a steal in my eyes. So, do yourself a favor, try one of these. Delicious. I'm Mike Simmons. This is the Cigar Area. Thanks for tuning in. Please check out my other videos, YouTube. On my website thecigarearea.com and until next time think like I think happy smoking talk of fish cleave cream this season
all I'm left with is a breeze. Doesn't even reach my knees. There's too much in this 